We've asked her. We've asked her repeatedly. Every single person here has asked her. The tenants here are frustrated because they say even though they have asked their landlord repeatedly to consider applying for the government's commercial rent assistance program, SECRA, they say she has refused. Not only that, they say at least one tenant has been threatened with eviction if they don't sign a new lease at a jacked up rent. And she's, she's threatening eviction if I don't pay it. Mary Helen Thompson is a home stager and has rented two units from Nancy Jane for the last six years. She tells me her lease was up in April and because of all the uncertainty due to COVID-19, she asked to continue on a month to month basis at her current rate for now. But she tells me Ms. Jane refused, saying they don't offer month to month. And while they were prepared to give her a four month extension for one unit, she would have to sign a new lease, increasing her rent. In the email exchange Mary Helen forwarded to me, Jane stated last month, we need both renewals signed for you to continue your tenancy at 100 Sunrise. Otherwise, make arrangements to move out by April 30th, 2020. You know, I'm happy to give her my current rent each month until circumstances change. And her response to me was over the weekend that she shocked by my response and what did I do to her personally and that she gave me until Monday to make up my mind. So yesterday? Yes. Michael Walker has a 4,300 square foot unit for his set design and construction business, Studio 302. He and his partners have managed to pay rent so far, but could really use the 50% subsidy offered to small businesses by the government. But the property owner has to apply for it. And I did send an email to her and I said, this is a chance for you to look like a better person, to look like a hero to a number of businesses here that, that aren't working, that haven't worked since March. Walker says his landlord Nancy Jane did not reply. She and her lawyer David Donnelly, however, deny that she refuses to apply. She sent out an email last night saying she plans to participate. If the building qualifies, then she's going to participate in the program. David Donnelly told me today that because the building is zoned industrial, the tenants are not eligible for the subsidy. But the MP for the area, Finance Minister Bill Morneau, says that's not true. And his assistant tells me that Morneau's office has repeatedly informed the landlord of this. To drive the point home, Morneau's Director of Communications issued this statement. We define commercial property as being inclusive of industrial buildings. The tenants have confirmed they've signed commercial leases, which means they could be eligible. The rent increase, Nancy Jane and David Donnelly showed up at a meeting that had been hastily organized by the tenants to make sure they were all on the same page. Even though she wasn't invited, Jane spoke at the meeting and attempted to reassure the tenants that she's willing to address the concerns about rent. And the rents have been frozen for six months, at which point we'll revisit the crisis and we'll revisit the issue. In spite of the pledges Nancy Jane and her lawyer made here today, many tenants say they remain skeptical. In fact, say frankly, they don't believe that she will follow through. And they're in the process of hiring their own lawyer to do any further negotiating for them. In North York, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.